Hey, T here. The new trip you're doing called Letting Go. Let's learn this. I'm going to flip to a different tone here for the breakdown. All right, so we're going to start uh, with open E. Uh, we're going to do uh, these are all 16th notes, so we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Oh, and so you know on the record, I B standard. We're doing it in E standard here, but on the record, it's B standard. I'm going to do another lesson on how to get your guitar to B standard. Uh, heavier gauges and stuff. But right now we're going to do it in E. 16th notes. The whole time the right hand is going to go down, up, down, up. Constantly, quite fast. Just uh, yeah. So we're going to start with two low E's, a high E, and back to low E. For down, up, down on that high E, the 12th fret, and then low E, right? An octave higher than our low E. Move up a little closer here so we can get a better look. Alright, beat one. Beat two is one low E, then high E, and then two low E's. So where beat one was, beat two is, so notice you hit the high E with an up instead of a down. An easier way to think about this is it's just two low E's, high E, two low E's, high E, two low E's. But because of their 16th notes, I don't necessarily want to think of it in groups of three. Uh, but it is easier to think about it that way because you have two low, high, two low, high, and then two, which gives us a total of eight notes, right? One E and a, two E and a. Alright, uh, beat three of this first measure is going to go D the 10th fret to E the 12th fret, back to D, open E. I think I just picked it wrong, but it should go down, up, down, up. D, E, D, open E. Beat four is going to go B on the seventh fret to D on the tenth fret, back to B, open E. So beat three, beat four. All right, so D, E, D, E, B, D, B, E. So altogether measure one. Pretty easy. And the great thing about the rest of the riff, the rhythm stays the same, just the notes change. So in the beginning of measure two, we'll play the same thing. Instead of going to E this time, though, we're going to go to D. So two low E's, a D, two low E's, a D, two low E's. But the same rhythm you just played in measure one. Uh, I think in the, I usually play it with my third finger on this E in the beginning. Uh, and then I think I use my pinky, but you could switch to your third finger. There's enough to time for the D. And then so for measure two, beat three, and four, we're going to go G third fret, B seventh fret, back to G open E. And we're going to do that twice, beat three and beat four. Oops, I missed it. Easy. So measure two is to that D. And then G, B, G, E, twice, G, B, G, E. Uh, measure three is then going to drop to, uh, hold on, I'm lost. Still the D. So you play the rhythm on the D again, 10th fret. Same rhythm. This time we're going to go A, the 5th fret, back to that D, big stretch. I know the G to B was quite a stretch too, now we have another big stretch. 5 to 10. A, D, back to A, E. Instead of doing this twice this time though, I go A, D, A, E, and then I go D, A, E, E. So that B3 and 4 of the third measure. Make sense? The very last part, same rhythm, but we're going to go to C here on the 8th fret this time. And then for beat 3 and 4, we're going to go A, A, 5th fret, two of them, 1 B on the 7th, 1 C on the 8th, back to the B, to the A, and that last B and A are 8th notes, so it was 4 16th notes, and then 2 8th notes, so it's kind of like short, 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 long, long. So let's try the whole thing here. Three, four. And that's 
that's the whole riff. I kind of have it palm muted slightly, just a little bit of a palm mute. So I'll now just show you the chorus. The chorus is kind of similar. The chorus, we're just going to play that same rhythm. Oh no, sorry, it's not exactly the same rhythm, or is it? I'm not sure. It's going to go... Um, no, it's not exactly the same rhythm, but the same idea. Two low E's, high E, 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 two low E's, two high E's, to give us a total of 16 notes. So again, you can think of it in the groups of three. Which means we did that five times and then on beat four. But it's a bit tricky thinking about it in groups of three because there's sixteenth notes, because it's really one E and a two E and a three E and a. So what happens is that when you hit that first high E, it's with a down, the next time it's with an up, then a down, then an up, and then on beat four, you just have the down up on the two, down up on the high. So that high note just ends up being down, up, down, up, down, up. On the and of beat one, the E of beat two, the right down of beat three, and the uh of beat three. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then the, it's only a two measure riff in the chorus. It plays it again, but only the first two beats. And then that little riff is just going to go D, E, D, e, e. And then E, G, E, E. So that would go, so the D, E, D was 10, 12, 10, open. And then the E, G, E would be 12, 15, 12, open. So we have... There's a chord progression going uh, underneath this whole thing or over this whole thing, whatever you want to say, that kind of is dictating how we hear it too. So I'm going to do the chord progression in another lesson um, and, uh, and then you can play with that. Oh, and then the last thing I'll say, uh, the intro is very similar to the chorus, except I have the, the line flipped around. So instead of starting with two low and then a high, I start with two high and then a low. But it's the same pattern, just flip. So it's... I think I played it wrong, but... I need to practice that a little bit. But that's it. You can practice it and get that one cleaner. And then uh, the last thing on the acoustic video I did... Because it's in the key of B, and on the acoustic video, I'm tuned to E standard. I play, um, I play the line starting on the B here, the 14th fret of my A string. And you'll notice it's the same line. It's in it's in the key of B. So because I don't have an open B, other than my high B, it sounds kind of silly on. You can try it though. Uh, I just use clickies in between it, like just these clicky sounds. So anyway, it goes my B the 14th, A, B, A, which is 12, 14, 12, 9, 12, 9, which would be F sharp, A, F sharp, 12, 9, 12, 9, 5, 9, 5, 7, 12, 7 for F sharp, A. Anyway, the new tunes are available to download. There'll be a link here on the page. Uh, subscribe, tell your friends, share with your friends. Uh, thanks so much. Have fun. I'll do some more on this same tune.